Welcome back. Tonight uh, we are starting doing uh, crescentine, which is uh, uh, the same uh, ingredients to make uh, bread, but uh, um, you have to fry them. So it's like a fried bread. Uh, the ingredients are mainly the same nearly the same for what you uh, use to make bread or either uh, the pasta for uh, pizza. So we need uh, some plain flour. Um, I add some Manitoba flour which helps um, the yeast. It comes much more soft. Let's start weighting the uh, flour. Just a sparkle of uh, uh, durian wheat flour, about 20 grams. Then I add 200 grams of Manitoba flour. And six hundred grams of plain double zero flour. So it is the flour you use to make sweets. Okay, now are eight hundred grams altogether of flour. Then we need the yeast, which is uh, um, it's called Brewer Brewer's yeast. Uh, is one envelope is for five hundred grams of uh, um, flour, but since uh, tomorrow we we need to put another 100 grams of flour, we are nearly uh, a kilo, so I use all the yeast, all, um, both envelopes of uh, Brewer yeast. And a hundred grams, uh, sorry, ten grams of sugar, two envelopes of sugar. Then 
then we will need uh, 300, 300 grams of uh, double cream which is here ready but first we need to mix everything so we give a quick mix of the flour and the ingredient the dry ingredient I put in and now we are going to add the double cream and to uh, arrive to the right um, thickness to the right proportion we will add some milk so give it a mix to the flour the salt and the yeast then we pour the double cream and start mixing we need to have a um, quite soft pastry so we are adding the milk this way are 150 grams of milk The dough is made, as you can see, it's quite hard, but do the same. You can put your finger in the soft. Now the dough will be left overnight in the fridge. You need to cover it. Transparent film and leave it leavened all night through. Then tomorrow morning we will see what it will look like. Here is the dot. Now we are going to put some more, a little bit more flour, and since it's very dry, we are going to add a little bit of milk and a drop of sugar and mix everything again about 50 grams of plain flour and a drop of sugar And I will add a drop of milk since it's too hard.
Now I make a cross on the dot so I will see how much it leavened and I'll put it in the oven a low temperature 50 celsius for about uh, an hour and I cover it with a plate so it won't dry up Right, I've taken it out of the oven um, it's nicely swallowed up. Now I uh, give another little go with the mixing bowl and then I will start making uh, a sheet of uh, pastry to make uh, um, crescentine. So now we are ready to um, make the pastry in sheets and cut it to make crescentine. Um, the thickness, I put the machine at number one, so it's about 3-4 uh, millimeter thick. As you might be able to see this is the right thickness they aren't they mustn't be too thin I need to put some flour on top of the board so the pastry wouldn't stick with then take some of the pastry out like this squeeze it so it can go through the machine and need to put a bit of flour otherwise it will stick to the rolling pin of the machine thickness. Now I cut them they don't need to be perfect. I like to make um, bits of about 5-6 uh, cm by side um, you can even make bigger and fold it in two when they're cooked and put the filling like parma ham or anything you wish is like a bread so you can use it in the same way but I can tell you it's much more tastier now this one are cut and I will put them on top of tablecloth which I've put it ready there and leave to leaven more I will 
cook them in, a, in an hour time. So I, leave, I will leave them there for an hour longer. I will do the same with all the remaining pastry. Now I get everything ready for frying crescentine. I've taken a, a high pot, so I fill it up with peanuts oil. One liter should be enough. This to take out the crescentine from the oil. I've prepared some a plate with uh, kitchen towel to put the crescentine just when they're out of the oil and then this jar with more paper towel, kitchen towel to move them into these ones. Uh, we have to light up Fire, which must be quite high but you have to look out that uh, it wouldn't start smoking that means if it starts smoking uh, it's far too high the temperature of the oil and you have to put it down because it, it, can, it can be dangerous it can get um, it can go on fire to go with uh, crescentine I've taken out some soft cheese like ricotta, squacquerone and stilton, some parma ham and as a sweet at the end some chocolate cream. So now we are ready to cook crescentine. If the uh, oil is warm enough, so I take a little bit of pastry and see if yes, bubbles are coming up. as you might be able to see that means the oil is hot enough to cook crescentine so we put them in
trying to take most of the oil out, brushing out. This is the right color, not burned, cooked, right enough. Need a little bit more. Turn them around before they swallow too much, otherwise they will stick on the other side. There we go. With 800 grams of flour came out three bowls of crescentine. As you can see, now we are ready to eat them. Now I'll show you how to eat them. You need to cut them open this way and then you put for example the cheese the squacquerone cheese inside and then good appetite mm. really nice 